Dr. Douglas Robinson, Campbell Podiatry. I'd like to show you how to wrap an avulsion fracture involving the hallux. This is a fracture at the base of the hallux that if left untreated will result in the fracture not healing and the toe shifting. This is an avulsion fracture involving the base of the lateral hallux proximal phalanx, so it's a great toe joint fracture. This fracture is displaced and it's angulated this way. There's a good chance that this will heal within six to eight weeks if it's properly splinted and protected with a rigid below the knee cam walker. Your doctor will follow this by taking serial x-rays at appropriate intervals to check to see that that fracture is consolidating and healing appropriately. It's important that you immobilize this beyond just wrapping and splinting it with a below the knee cam walker when you're gonna be on your feet for longer periods of time. And if you're gonna do things for short periods of time, like getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, you wanna at least have a surgical shoe. Don't walk without that. My sweet Melanie has a broken toe right at this level here. And if we don't splint these two toes together to the rest of the foot, this thing is gonna to wanna to go way over like this. We don't want that to happen. So you're gonna be getting this, it's called Medi-Rip. You're gonna wrap here, two to three wraps. And this should always be comfortably snug. And we're gonna fold this in half. It's gonna go right around like this. And we wanna tuck this in like so. So this toe always is gonna be parallel to your second toe. Okay, and you're gonna take another piece So yes, we are gift wrapping these piggies. This should be comfortably snug. You say it's comfortably snug? Sure. You're too tight, Melanie? No, it's okay. Okay. To prevent this from sliding off your foot, you can get two inch or, or one inch cloth tape. And you can wear a sock over this or anything that keeps your toes warm and cozy, but this should be wrapped all the time. When should you change it when it starts feeling uncomfortable, loosens up, or starts smelling like a foot. That'd be a reason to change it. You can use a shower guard to keep it dry. But that's how we're gonna get this good. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Douglas Robinson, camel podiatrist. <laughs> Please take care of yourself and each other.